Parties are great, but when the guests don't know how to act, it can make the host or hostess's life a living hell. Here, I'll provide you a basic guide to what you should and should not do at any given party. The most important part to attending a party is to recognize that the host is the host, and that means that they control who comes, what time it starts and stops, and the dress code. So don't invite your best friend Susie, because she'll invite her boyfriend Brad, and then he'll bring his bros from CrossFit, and all of a sudden the guest list has quadrupled. Besides, inviting people that the host didn't invite doesn't guarantee that everyone will know these people. When people don't know each other at a party or gathering, small pockets of categorized individuals form, called cliques. If you're planning a party, cliques are something you would want to avoid as it defeats the purpose of a party. If we wanted to stay in our own secluded friend group surrounded by strangers, we would have went to a restaurant or to school. The host also controls when the party begins and ends, so don't arrive late on short notice and don't arrive too early. If you must arrive late, let the host or hostess know prior to the party starting, as soon as possible. In addition, the host controls the dress code, meaning if the host says the attire is to be semi-formal and you show up in bathing suit shorts and a tank top, you might as well leave, because you clearly have no respect for whoever is inviting you into their home and giving you food. Similarly, don't overdress, as you'll make everyone else feel inadequate. Speaking of food, if you decide that you're going to bake or eat at someone else's house, clean up after yourself. The host already is going to have to clean up all the place setting when you leave. No need to add to their self-inflicted chores. And that's it. Now you're ready to party. Have fun and be respectful.